Mark Andreessen just tweeted today. Let me do a TLDR. The conclusion is only startups and open source can avoid the, the issue that he's highlighting with big tech. He's asking, can big tech actually field generative AI products? One, ever escalating demands from internal activists, employee mobs, crazed executives, broken boards, pressure groups, extremist regulators, government agencies, the press, in quotes, experts, and everything uh, corrupting the output. Two, constant risk of generating a bad answer or drawing a bad picture or rendering a bad video. Who knows what is going to say or do at any moment. Three, legal exposure, product liability, slander, election law, many other things, and so on. Any, anything that makes Congress mad. <laughs> Four, continuous attempts to tighten grip on acceptable output, degrade the model, like how good it actually is, uh, in terms of usable and uh, pleasant to use and effective and all that kind of stuff. And five, publicity of bad text, images, video, actual puts those examples into the training data for the next version, and so on. So he just highlights how difficult this is yeah. from all kinds of people being unhappy. As you said, you can't create a system that makes everybody happy. Yes. Uh, so if you're going to do the fine tuning yourself and keep a closed source, essentially the problem there is then trying to minimize the number of people who are going to be unhappy. Yep. Um, and you're saying like the only, that that almost impossible to do right. And that's the better ways to do open source. Basically, yeah. I mean, he's, Mark is right about uh, a number of things that he lists mm -hmm. that uh, indeed scare um, large companies. Uh, you know, <laughs> certainly congressional investigations <laughs> is one of them, legal liability, uh, you know, uh, making things that uh, get people to, you know, hurt themselves or hurt others. Like, you know, um, big companies are really careful about not um, producing things of this type. And um, uh, because they have, you know, they don't want to hurt anyone, first of all, and then second, they want to preserve their business. So um, it's essentially impossible for systems like this. They can inevitably formulate political opinions and, you know, opinions about various things that may be political or not, but that people may disagree about, about, you know, moral issues and, you know, um, things about, like, questions about religion and things like that, right, or, or cultural issues that people from different communities would disagree with in the first place. Um, so there's only kind of a relatively small number of things that people will uh, sort of agree on, you know, basic principles. But uh, beyond that, if you if you want those systems to be useful, they will necessarily have to uh, offend a number of people, inevitably. And so open source is just better. And then- you Diversity is better, better, right? And open source enables diversity. That's right, open source enables diversity. That's, so that's gonna be a fascinating world where, if it's true that the open source world, if Meta leads the way, and creates this kind of open source foundation model world, there's going to be, like governments will have a fine tuned model. And, yeah. and, and then potentially, uh, you know, people that vote left and right will have their own model and preference to be able to choose. And it will potentially divide us even more, but that's on us humans. We get to figure out. Basically the technology enables humans to human more effectively. And all the difficult ethical questions that humans raise will just it'll, um, leave it up to us to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, there are some limits to what, you know, the same way there are limits to free speech, there has to be some limit to the kind of stuff that those systems might uh, be authorized to um, to produce, um, you know, some guardrails. So, I mean, that's one thing I've been interested in, which is uh, in the type of architecture that we were discussing before, where the output of a system is a result of an inference to satisfy an objective. That objective can include guardrails. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can put guardrails in open source systems. I mean, if we eventually have systems that are built with this blueprint, uh, we can put guardrails uh, in those systems that guarantee that there is sort of a, a minimum set of guardrails that make the system non-dangerous and non-toxic, et cetera. You know, basic things that everybody would agree on. Um, 
and and then you know the, the fine tuning that people will add or the additional guardrails that people will add will kind of cater to their uh, community, whatever it is. And the, yeah, the fine tuning will be more about the gray areas of what is yeah. hate speech, what is dangerous, and all that kind of stuff. 